The Edge command utility is the easiest way to configure Aviva adapters and Edge data store on any platform using command line arguments. This is already installed on your machine, so access pysrv01 and open a command prompt. We will type Edge CMD help to see how to use this tool. In the text that's returned, you will find details about command patterns, available operations, arguments, targets, component IDs, as well as plenty of useful examples. Feel free to pause the video to take some time to review this text. Once you are ready to proceed, we could spend the rest of the course in the command prompt typing out each command one by one. However, that makes it difficult to reuse our work afterwards to configure other adapters. Instead of using the command prompt, we are going to make use of Windows PowerShell ISE. This way we'll get more of an idea of the steps to configure an adapter and end up with a script to configure an adapter from scratch that we can reuse later if we need. Open the class files folder on the desktop of your VM. Then double click on the opcua adapter configuration.ps1 file. This is a blank file created to help get us started. On the first line of the script, type edgecmd get version then press Run Script. When we use this button, the entire script will be run. Below, you should see a response showing the current Aviva adapter version information. We'll only use this Run Script button this one time. For all upcoming steps, we'll be using the next button to only run our script a single line at a time. Now let's add another command below this one to get the current Aviva adapter application configuration. Underneath your previous command, type edgecmd get application. Select this text with your cursor and then click run selection. This button only runs the highlighted line of your script. You should see the default configuration for a newly installed Aviva adapter for OPC UA returned below. In the coming steps, we're going to update this configuration so we'll begin collecting and streaming real-time data. Note, from this point on, when we say you should run a command, you should add the command to your script, then run it by selecting the line and clicking the Run Selection button.